Morgan Tuck's friendship with Brianna Stewart grew when the two arrived in stores as freshmen in the fall of 2012. Since then, the super sophomore known as Stewie has taken women's college basketball by storm on the heels of winning the Final Four MVP last season. However, Stewart's time at UConn has not been without setbacks. Let's check in on the ups and downs for Stewie, the player many people consider the nation's most talented. Watch shot by Stewart on the perimeter, and she'll go in all alone for two more. Here's Stewart, tough shot. That's a great move inside. In her second season at UConn, Brianna Stewart is making basketball look easy. With an endless offensive repertoire, even her teammates are left envious. I know, I hate her. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm jealous of her, all the talent she has and how good she can be. When I first met her, I was like, how could this girl be good at basketball? Like, you don't think it, but as soon as she steps on the court, you understand, like, she's a great athlete, she's a great rebounder, great scorer, great shooter, she's good at everything. She's so versatile. She can handle the ball, she can go on the paint, and anytime she's on the court, she's gonna score. It's just things she can do that people can't defend. She's not the, the cocky type where you're just like, oh my God, if you talk one more minute about your basketball accomplishments or anything, she doesn't ever talk about it. She just goes out there and she plays the game, and after you would never think that she's as good as she is because she doesn't talk about it. I know how I can play. You have to know that when you get on the court, you're the best player on the court. And I don't like sharing that or saying stuff like that, but you have to have the mentality like that or you're not gonna, you're not gonna succeed, especially here at UConn. Though Stewart lets her game do the talking, she's not lacking confidence, something that had the tendency to get her in trouble. She knows how good she is, knows the things that she can do. She's just gotta do a good job of not getting complacent and making sure that she's always focused and ready to learn. She was really successful, obviously, up to the point that she got to Connecticut and then has a tremendous success, you know, being the Final Four MVP, winning national championships as a freshman. And sometimes I think that can keep you a little like, all right, well, I got this thing down packed. That mental approach was never more evident than the early days of training camp, which led Coach Oriema and his staff to address the issue. Tell CD what you said about Stewie. I did already. Oh, you did already? Yeah. What'd she say? She's trying to do it her way. And when, it, when she tried to do it her way last year, she struggled all that time until she started to try to do it our way. Every time something didn't go our way, she acted like, oh, it's all right, it doesn't bother me. Right, right. What do you mean it doesn't bother you? Right. Every great player that comes into college, one, thinks they're better than anybody else that came here. How's that possible? Two, they find out after about a week that, no, I'm not, and they get a little bit scared about it. So what's the reaction? Well, I'll prove to you how good I am. Well, how are you going to prove how good you are? Well, I'm not going to listen to anything you say because I already know everything. You get a bad attitude because you're always right. So you always go through a period of time where you say, listen, you're either going to let me coach you and make you better, or, one, you're not going to play. And then you'll just be a great player as butt is on the bench. Or, two, you'll never reach your potential. You know, she's a, like enigma, but she's good. She does have to grow up. And just becoming MVP in the Final Four doesn't make you grow up. You know what I mean? Still got to grow up. Through the first several months of the season, Stewart apparently got the message. Where is she now? She's exactly where she's supposed to be. She's playing to her potential most of the time. If she was playing to her potential all the time, I'd be shocked, because nobody does that at this age. Closest I've ever seen has been Diana and Maya. You know, where as sophomores, they were pretty close. So for Stewie, given where she is right now, and her age and her development, I think she's right where she needs to be. Although Stewart has made great strides in her willingness to improve, Coach Oriema continues to push the star sophomore to her full potential. You guys always try to run like this way. 
Eh? Just take a step right at him. See, if you go at him, he's got to move. Just go right at him. And then hold him. To me, the worst thing that could happen is you sign the best player in high school, and she comes to Connecticut, and four years later, she leaves, and everybody goes, man, I thought she'd be better than that. Like, what's the old joke? How many psychiatrists does it take to change the light bulb? One. But the light bulb has to really want to change. And she's that light bulb that wants to change. She wants to be better. She wants to be great. She wants to learn. She has a burning desire to be the best player. She studies the game. She knows who the best players are. She knows. She sees. She watches. And players like that, if they have the God-given ability, they become great.